The other day, my friend and fellow YouTuber List the Last hit me up for some help on her Stardew Valley farm. She's been doing a series on her channel where she tries to get her farm to perfection, so she needed advice from a Stardew Valley pro, and for some reason, she hit me up. Now, if you know anything about me, I I'm a little bit of a trickster, okay? I'm, I'll, I'll admit it. I I'm, I've been known to do some trickery. So I decided instead of helping her, I was just gonna give her really bad advice and just try and see how many foolish things I could get List to do on her farm. Things that would not help in the slightest. In fact, most of these things would probably actively impede her progress. But if I was gonna do that, first I need to come up with some plausible, believable lies. So around 40 minutes before the call, I started formulating my plan. I wanted to look on the wiki and I was like, okay, what are some, like, dumb things I can try and make her do? So first things first, let's get her to start growing a bunch of weird crops. Because I think the main thing that she's missing is money, if I remember correctly. So what's, like, a crop that I feel like I could sell that is, like, dumb? What about, like, those things you can get in year two? You know what I'm saying? Like, remember those? There's, like, a bunch of things you can get in year two only. Um, garlic. I feel like she won't buy that. Red cabbage. Ooh, red cabbage could work. Artichokes could also work. I've never heard uh, anyone say anything about artichokes. I feel like I could sell this artichoke thing. So maybe what I'll say is that they don't sell for a lot, like, when you sell them, but they're- because they regrow so quickly and you can pickle them so quick, I can get her to buy a bunch of artichokes <laughs> and just cover her <laughs> her ginger island in artichokes. Okay, next thing. I want to get her to, like, make a bunch of weird-ass machines. Because, like, obviously the best thing would be to make kegs or crystallariums or something like that. I don't think I could sell, like, I, I feel like I could sell honey, maybe. Honey maybe could work. Also, I should, like, put it in with some, like, good knowledge. Like, maybe I'll say, like, in the non-tillable spots on Ginger Island, place honey houses around summer spangles. Or, uh, fairy roses. What? Here's what I should sell her. Put in those spots on the left side of the island, put fairy rose in the ground, and surround them with a bunch of bee houses. Because that is actually a good tip. It's a good way to, like, get a bunch of money. Because you never have to replant the fairy roses. So that's actually a really good idea. Um, so I'll make her do that. Cause like, that's like off color enough that she's like, oh, I never heard about that. No way. I'm thinking maybe, <laughs> no way. <laughs> There's no shot I can make her make worm pins. Okay, I have to try. Okay, maybe I tell her that, cause bait can be crafted into mon- Oh no, it's bug meat. Oh, dang. I was gonna say, maybe I could tell her that like, uh, monster steaks. Well, can you deconstruct bait? I feel like this is too unbelievable. I feel like even I wouldn't believe that. Slime hutches, maybe? Is there anything with the desert trader I could convince her of? Okay, uh, desert, warp totems, four iridium ore. Okay, I'll tell her that's a good way of getting a bunch of iridium <laughs> to buy the Omni Geodes <laughs> from Sandy. <laughs> Buy desert warp totems and then get iridium that way. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Like worm bins were so good, but she'll never buy that. That's like too unreasonable. I don't think she would believe slime hutches. Maybe? Maybe we should do slime hutches. She just asked me if I'm ready in five. And I have no plan. And I have no plan. What have I just said? Like <laughs> having your fridge with three glasses of milk in it, three raw milks, increases your chance of getting a child i feel like she'd believe that because like milk child i feel like that's believable okay this feels good i feel good about this after that i did a little bit more formulating and decided my main goal would be to try and get list to build a slime hutch slime hutches are famously one of the most poorly balanced features in all of stardew as they take up a ton of space require huge amounts of precious resources like iridium bars and they're not even profitable at the end of the day that would be my main goal and with my plan set it was time to hop on the phone with list so keep in mind this was like the first time i had ever talked to list like ever and my entire plan was like i was just gonna scheme right in front of her face so safe to say i was like very nervous Luckily though, due to some Discord issues, she wasn't able to see my camera, so I wouldn't have to keep a straight face the whole time. I didn't want to start with anything absolutely insane, so I started with something very tame to ease her into this. This is yeah, the best. Great. I'm so excited that you're like down to <laughs> be a part of this. This is so cool. I don't ever know how to collab with people because I feel like I'm such a awkward recluse sometimes. And so it's nice that you replied <laughs> and you said yes. Oh my god, yeah, I was happy to. I've, like, watched all of your, like, Stardew videos, so I was like, oh, wow. And I was like, yeah, when you hit me up to be your Stardew Rally Pro for this, I was like, well, first of all, that's a lot of credit you're giving me. And secondly, um, I was like, yeah, I'd love to. Like, you already got, like, a ton done in your first 200 days. Like, I don't think you need that much. You just need, you're, like, 
almost there basically the guides that i'm reading online and all the videos i'm watching i feel like there's so much confusing information and super conflicting mm -hmm. information i don't know how to make 10 million gold to get that golden clock <laughs> Quickly, I would like to get this done as quick as possible. I wanted to know what is your favorite way to make money when you're in that late game? So there's actually like a couple things that I think would be really nice. Firstly, a good use of your like left side of Ginger Island farm. Some of the grant ground is actually tillable and you can farm on it. So if you place a fairy rose in like one of those little pouches, you can surround it with bee houses and then those will produce like every three days. And that makes you like a buttload of money, like very, very, very quickly then since like the scenes never change on ginger island you can just keep the fairy rose there forever and then the bee house will continually produce like whatever it sells for like 500 700 g of honey that is so funny because <laughs> i just set something like that up but on the right side of ginger island that is so ingenious <laughs> while this isn't the worst tactic it's definitely more efficient to fill your farm with garden pots but fairy rose honey can make you a fair amount of dough but now that i had won her over it was time to up the ante a bit the other thing i like to do is like of course like kegging things and a crop that's like really good to put into kegs is artichokes so you can get artichokes from pierre's they only start becoming available in year two and if you put them inside of kegs they have like they sell for like a really high value if i was you i would fill like probably your ginger island with like half pineapples, half artichokes. Oh, wow, okay. For those who don't know, artichokes are not a profitable crop at all. The only reason I chose them is because they're only become available in year two, so most people forget about them. But in actuality, artichokes are worse than just growing grapes, grapes. But after this, Liz asked about ancient fruit, the most profitable crop in the entire game. So I knew I had to get her off the scent. So I have a shitload of ancient fruit in the greenhouse and I started growing some on ginger island. And I'm kind of curious, like what is the best thing to put in kegs like you were saying artichokes yeah so here's my thing with ancient fruit wine right like in order to fill your entire farm and your entire like ginger island with all ancient fruit right like that's gonna take a lot of time and effort in putting like ancient fruits into the seed maker and stuff in the total time like that's gonna be like your best method but like the amount of time that's gonna take to get that like all up and running in addition to like the 28 days it takes ancient fruit to grow it will probably end up taking you like more time to get that all up and running than to just like get the 20 million g by just like pegging artichokes for like faster income and then pineapples that would be my suggestion wow okay and okay so now with that out of the way i need to make sure that liz didn't get suspicious of me so i decided to sew in a couple more truths before i dropped the final slime hutch bomb i was also planning mm -hmm. on doing the fairy rose thing and pigs yeah pigs are fine oh What's your opinion about pigs? I don't like the animals really in the game at all. Like I just prefer, if I'm gonna do pigs, I'd rather just like fill the area that my barn would be in with like crops, you know what I mean? Like like I was talking about like rhubarb or garlic or star fruit or artichoke or like even amaranth sells for like a lot of money. Like I've genuinely been thinking of like getting rid of every single animal and building barns and doing like hella pigs. I was planning on starting a pig empire. You would say maybe cool it on that i would honestly like in my opinion it depends on what you want you know what i mean if you're just going for i want to make as much money as fast as possible i would not recommend doing that i would recommend like even slime hutches would probably be better than pigs if you water them with like a sprinkler every day they even probably end up making more money you don't have to check on them every day you know if you, if you want to just go for straight profit yeah like fill your farm with like crops and slime hutches but like if you want to you know have a little fun with it then yeah do pigs that sounds fun i've never done a slime hutch in my life though yeah slime hutches are great i, I i've just been sleeping on slime hutches yeah wow. honestly i would like probably build like four or five on the bottom of your farm what <laughs> They used to be really bad, wow. but like in a pretty recent update, they got like buffed. The amount of slime they output is like really high. And like slime eggs sell for like a good chunk of change, especially if you can get tiger slimes in there. Oh, okay, okay. I will definitely be looking into slimes. Wow, wow, okay, cool. This is, I'm learning so much. I have so many ideas flowing in my head right now. I'm gonna get in there. I'm gonna take all your advice. I'm gonna look into slimes too. I do have a couple of slime eggs that I don't know what to do with because I've actually never built a slime hutch in this game ever in my life. So yeah, okay. I feel like I learned so much. You have enlightened me, like you yeah. showed me the light. So that was that's so freaking cool. Thank you. Uh, let me know if you need anything else, and I'm happy to help you out. Yes, thank you. I will definitely let you know, and I'll let you know how my money making ventures go. I'm gonna take your advice, so you better not screw me over. <laughs> I would never.
<laughs> All right, guys, it's a little while later, and Liz has finally put out our video, so let's see how it played into everything and if she actually did all the stupid things that I told her to do. So, uh... I got started on some of Shawnee Dew's suggestions right away. First of all, beehives on the right side of Ginger Island? Dumb. Let's start planting them on the left side, and we'll worry about making beehives later. We should also start building a slime hut, Not too. Slime. This will be a first for me. I'm a little ex- Not the slime hut. <laughs> I can't believe she didn't sniff that out. Guys, don't, please, don't ever build a slime much. They're so freaking stupid. They'll make you no money. <laughs> oh, God. Just a complete waste of resources. And five iridium bars, might I add. When my slime hutch was finally built, Not Marlin stopped slime. on my farm to give me a green slime egg, and I got to work trying to figure out, well, how this worked. <laughs> So I guess you can hatch slime eggs in the incubator. So I threw that in and also put a few slime that monsters drop into an egg press. And then we wait. I'm not super confident in this, but I am determined to learn. I got determined to learn. I feel so bad. I feel awful, honestly. She's determined to learn. She took me so seriously. <laughs> Oh no, I feel awful. I'm gonna take a break from the mines for a second to check on my slime hutch. I have a red slime egg ready to be hatched and I'm not sure if I'm supposed to kill the little slime guy I have in here already. I, I don't know. I there's there's no, nothing to do. I mean, technically you can like harvest their slime eggs, but they're not gonna do anything for you. It's like 20,000 G. I have slimes in here to start making money, I think, so I won't. I'll throw some more slime loot in the egg maker and work on getting more little dudes oh, in here. Slime. She's using it all for nothing. I think I'll plant one more field of ancient seeds just to keep it even and then replant some pineapples. Hmm. Maybe strawberries and artichokes. I, I don't know. Artichokes! <laughs> not the artichokes! Don't do it, Liz. But I did get a ton of artichoke seats from the night market tonight. I plan on moving. <laughs> I don't think anyone has ever bought this many artichoke seeds, like, in all of Stardew Valley ever. I think you're, you might be the first, Liz. <laughs> my way to Ginger Island, I was stopped by Alex on the beach. This cutscene really touched me. I feel like maybe I misjudged Alex. Based! Okay, not related to the video, but based? And I planted a few fields of artichokes. No! My other fairy roses haven't... <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, no, not the artichokes. My first ever slime ball came <gasps> in. Neato. This, I need to start... slime much is so big. Look how many slimes she has. Saving slime for truffle oil makers. Oh no, I forgot. She's doing the whole freaking truffle thing. So she's like actively preventing her own progress because she's putting, instead of using the slime for the truffle oil maker, she's putting it all into this stupid freaking <laughs> slime punch that's doing nothing for her. Do I need to corral them? I, d okay, I got it, but damn. But guess what? I found some purple slime eggs that I on- <laughs> She seems like she just genuinely hates the slime punch so much, which I don't blame. The slime punch sucks. And we did a ton of pickling and- Pickling the artichokes. I didn't realize that artichoke was going to become such a central player in this run. Day of winter, we finally completed the cooking achievement with the shrimp <clears throat> cocktail recipe. That's another one down, folks. Also, slime hutches? Pretty cool, actually. We're finally another one down, folks. Also, slime hutches? Pretty cool, actually. We're <laughs> they're not. And hey, a tiger slime egg. That's amazing. Apparently, that's the best around. Best of like that's like saying that like the turkey sandwich is the best thing on Arby's menu. It's like, okay, yeah, but why the f are you at Arby? Money making feels like it's going so slow. So you much guys. garlic. I don't know. I have a few things in the works. Pretty soon here, this batch of iridium quality ancient fruit wine will be done. Oh, she's going this whole rant. I don't. I can't understand why I'm. I have no money. I spent all my wood on freaking bee houses. I'm putting iridium bars into slime hutches constantly, and all my money is going into artichokes. But something's not adding up. I feel so bad. She was so nice, and I just completely dicked her over. 
Some rough math for my current income sources. My fairy rose honey comes in every four days and they sell for 952 gold each. I mean, I that's not bad. That's not Island bad right today. Now, so I currently have 55 preserve jars. I've been mostly just preserving artichokes until I run. I cannot believe the artichokes have stood the test of time so hard. Other income sources are negligible currently, like slimes and tea saplings. What do you mean? What do you mean negligible? Dude, don't be shitting on the freaking slime hutch like that. Why well, I gotta do my boy so dirty? What the heck? Look at all these tiger. Look at all the slime. You should be thankful. All right. In conclusion, you know she did it all. She those artichokes were in there for a really long time, and she was still standing by the slime hutches until the very end. So like, I consider this a win, guys. I think this is a win. I think we're a little trickery, a little trolly. I think we kept up our reputation as the trickiest Stardew Valley YouTuber. Okay, this shouldn't be too long, honestly. This should be very quick. Yeah, I'm really like curious. What What do you want? <laughs> okay, so as you recall, a couple, I guess it was weeks or months ago, you called me with advice asking about your, what you should do on your 100 days farm or your perfection file, I should say. And uh, you asked me for a bunch of advice, and I gave you, I gave you a ton of notes. The main things I said were that you should build slime hutches, build artichokes, among a myriad of other things. Yes, this is true. It was very helpful. I really needed your help because I didn't know what I was doing or how to make money. Oh, oh no, <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> well, um, oh, this is just making this thing all the more. I regret to inform you that. Pretty much everything I said on that call was like the worst advice I could think of. And like everything I told you was like completely fake because um, I thought it might be funny. Um, in your comments, you can actually see a lot of people say like, why is Shawnee saying this? Like he's always said that slime hutches are like one of the worst money making ways in Sturdy Valley. Um, and I duped. <laughs> and I feel really bad because then I watched your video and I was like, she took the advice like so dear to the heart, like molded I your tried entire. My best. I know, <laughs> and I felt awful about it. And I'm like, you suck. You actually kind of <laughs> suck. Okay, but here's the thing is that I will never build a slime hutch again. That was my first and only slime hutch. And I realized that it doesn't really make money, but I still, yeah. in my stream sometime, I'm like, I'll be like, I wonder why Shawnee Dude told me to build slime hutches. Is there a secret that you guys know about or something? Am I not doing slime hutches correctly? And then when I was doing the crop calculator for all of the crops you were telling me to grow, I was like, this is like actually a mess. Um, I think I'm just gonna go with some of the suggestions and then mostly bang out star fruit. And... <laughs> and start my ancient fruit empire and then you told me pigs are not great um and that broke my heart a little bit and i said Fuck you shawnee do i actually love pigs and i'm just gonna get them regardless and you suck actually <laughs> you suck i can't believe you did that to me i haven't i don't read my comments so i didn't know if people were saying anything but <laughs> well, the top <laughs> comment in your video sense. is just it's so weird to see Shawnee not being sarcastic for once. And I was like, wow, I guess I did a really good job. I felt bad because like at the beginning of your video, you start like taking all of my advice. You like use it all like relentlessly. And then by the end, I can tell you're just like, why was I doing this in the first place? It's like, you're like, you start planning artichokes. You never check in with the slime much again. I didn't want to, I didn't want to explicitly say and go against you. Like that's like, going against the family like you don't go against the family you don't go against the dawn you know i didn't want to i didn't want to contradict anything you said and told me but i just yeah i kind of stopped oh one thing that you told me that was actually great hold on hold on you're okay. not a total liar you're not okay. a I like this. big fat liar beehives so like basically i was like beehives are fine and i was like if i like give one like kernel of kind of truth in there like i feel like it'll make the rest of everything i said believable and it actually worked well you got me because i am gullible and i was not a money-making expert and so yeah it hurt my feelings it i'm my feelings oh, no. are a little hurt now i feel terrible but... now 
Can't believe oh, you did well, that I'm to sorry. me. I'm sorry. I'm deeply sorry, but it was pretty funny. And hey, you got like to experience new parts of Sturdy Valley that you never experienced before. And, and nobody else has either. Yeah, well, thanks. Thanks for uh, taking me off course a little bit there because I got fucking <laughs> obsessed with slimes. Like, thanks a lot. <laughs> I did, yeah, at the end of the video, you're like, I just need that 10 million gold. That's all I need. That's the only thing I have left. And I was like, oh no, this is all my fault. Well, it takes a really long time, regardless. Yes. You know, like my yeah, plan course. was basically to ancient fruit wine it. And, and which is a great idea. Was it? Because you, <laughs> <laughs> you had me think like, don't waste your time, girl. Like, <laughs> wow. Wow. That kills me inside. Thanks. <laughs> so well, is that, are you going to make a video about how you fucking tricked me and definitely Just see this is what's there. beautiful about stardew valley is like there's always another way yeah and your way was it was beautiful it was unique yeah imagine if i did fully take it to heart um i think i'd still be working on perfection to this day yeah so. i think if you had actually done all that and just not immediately thrown it out the window i can't believe it. i cannot believe it you are so you're a little trickster <laughs> wow, true. that breaks my heart. That's true. <laughs> I was honestly very honored that you took everything, like what I said to heart. I was like, oh wow, like because usually when I do stuff like this, people are like, yeah, Sean's a f asshole. He's not gonna <laughs> tell me the truth. I think I'm <laughs> one of those people that could accidentally be in a cult because I just believed everything you said, took it for face value, but then I, I did see the light a little bit. But damn, wow! This is going Thanks from a hey, Sean tricked Liz to planting a crop that earns one gold less per day to Sean kind of gaslit Liz into joining his cult. I'm feeling like that's what happened. A little bit, a little bit. I'll believe anything you say. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sincerely sorry, and uh, I'm glad that your video still came out well. It was Are very you? Well done. Are you sorry? <laughs> I don't know about I'm that. I'm a little sorry. I do. I did. When I was watching the video, I did actually feel really bad. I was like, no, she actually listened to this all. I feel terrible. And you're like, in your video too, you're like, Shawnee Do, one of the pillars of the Stardew community and one of the smartest Stardew players I've ever met. He was beyond kind. And I was like, no, no. I'm going to end up in a cult. Like, this is sad for me. This is really bad. This is not a good look. <laughs> well, well, thanks a lot for tricking me and um, involving me in your tomfoolery. You were so no sweet. Problem. It was my pleasure, honestly. <laughs> I'll get you back someday. It might not be today. It might not be tomorrow. It might not be for a very long time, because you do know a lot more than me. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to trick you, but what goes around comes around, you know?